As dawn breaks in Kharkiv in February, it can be easy to forget how close Russia's war is to this vibrant Ukrainian city. In just a few seconds, everything can change. Attention, air raid alert. Proceed to the nearest shelter. As you can hear, we have an air alert that is going on right now as we're doing an interview. And this is the reality that all the people that are here are facing. With the Russian threat constant, I came prepared when I traveled to Ukraine in February, packing safety gear, including a heavy bulletproof vest and a helmet. But what I couldn't prepare for is the emotion of walking the streets of Izum a city the Russians occupied for 160 days at the start of the 2022 invasion. The mayor, Valery Marchenko, tells me that after the Russians left, Ukrainian citizens found a mass grave. In it, more than 470 bodies, people killed by bombings, shelling, even torture. The city's residents endure a lot, like 103-year-old Olga Marna, from her humble house, Olga recalls an explosion that rocked her home, <laughs> leaving her temporarily deaf and with blurry vision. She remains positive and smiling despite fears that the Russians could return. Of all the interviews in my years as journalist, Olga's stands out. At night, I think of her often and of her resiliency. Traveling on to Bucha, the road is littered with the scenes of war. In the city, Father Andre Halevin reads the names of those killed, over 500 names, memorialized at the site where they discovered dozens of bodies in two long trenches. The memories of these cities will forever be carried in my memory. But still, life goes on. Our field producer, Nicole Goldman, knows where there is destruction and also hope, like this cafe in Irpin. The city is coming back to life, says Goldman, but the memory of what happened casts a shadow. You understand that this place of massacre, you understand that this place has so many of human tragedies that you, you feel a bit guilty to have fun here, to drink coffee, to just walk around because you understand how many uh, crimes, war crimes were committed here, how many people died here. And as the war grinds into its third year, Ukrainians are watching every development closely while ensuring they will never forget the sacrifices that got them this far. Celia Mendoza, VOA News, Kiev, Ukraine.